Merry Christmas Eve, guys. One more sleep. Yes, it's Christmas Eve. They're not excited at all. <laughs> they woke up way too early this morning. You know, it's Christmas. Well, they wake up earlier than they should. But they always, they always been like that. <laughs> wake up around 5 30. So, good morning. I am just kidding. that people are going to use paper plates today and tomorrow because I don't want to do dishes. Yeah, it's tomorrow's Christmas. You know? I don't want to be in the kitchen doing dishes. I did not sit up pretend. Mom, did I Yes, no man. So coffee is a brewing. I'm just wait, waiting for it to finish so I can have a cup or two. I, I, You're hungry. Well, I was just going to think what to have for breakfast. What do you want? I don't know. You don't know? That's a good answer. <laughs> I don't know. Um, let me think what I can make. I think I still have bagels. Do you want a bagel? Is that one bagel left? I can do toast. You want a bagel? Yeah. Okay. One bagel for Henry. Napkins. You want anything? Um, I have oatmeal. Oh, you want oatmeal? But I ate for a bagel off. Yeah, well, you let the bagel cool. I don't want, but it's still eating off. Yeah. Like, don't eat it off. But I ate that. Yeah, I will add two dishes today, but there's not too much. But trying to avoid that tomorrow because we go to my mom and dad's for 12 30. And I don't want to come home and do dishes. <laughs> no. That's why it's like we do them today, get them up the way. And the only thing I probably really have to do is try to get my table back because right now Casey's doing puzzles. Uh, I did have it cleared off because. I haven't had a tablecloth on it because we've been decorating our sugar cookies and we decorated our gingerbread man last night. And so I haven't, you know, had a tablecloth on because we've been too busy decorating. So now it's like, okay, I want my table back. How <laughs> all that's done, I want my table back. So I have to do that today, get my table back, hopefully. And maybe uh, just swift for the floors one more time. Alright, so bagel for Henry. And Casey wants oatmeal, so that's easy. And I just have to finish a um, few more like easy presents, you know, that just go right in a gift bag that don't take much effort. <laughs> Yeah, just pop them in a bag, throw on some tissue paper, call it a day. But that is done, like the majority of the presents are done, and just gotta do the ones that's still in a bag, and that's it. Okay. What do you want to drink, Henry? What do you want to drink? Milk. Milk? Okay. At least my breath fix won't go cold this time. Because <laughs> I, I don't know what I'm having yet, so. <laughs> you know, last time it went cold, but that's okay. 
Oh, I still I still like the toast. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to give this to Henry. I'm going to have a coffee. Oh. All right, let me go and do that, and I'll be right back. All right, kids have their breakfast, and now it's time for Mama's coffee. That's right. <laughs> And I'm going to slowly wake up, slowly get motivated to finish doing everything. It's not a lot, but it just feels like there's always something to do when you turn around and there's like another mess to clean up or you forgot to do something, you gotta do it. <laughs> All right. But for now, we are going to have a cup of coffee and we're going to enjoy every sip uh, and just enjoy the moment because I cannot believe it's Christmas Eve and tomorrow is Christmas Day like what happened December flew by as it usually does so I'm going to soak up every moment and enjoy it and I know I have two boys that are very very excited I cannot wait. That's for sure. Mm, so if you're having your coffee or tea, enjoy. Here's to a wonderful, fantastic Christmas Eve Tuesday. Oh, that's good. And if you're going out to be with family, enjoy and just enjoy the moment, enjoy everybody's company with your Mama. family and loved ones. Mama. Yes. I would get this and walk it. Yes, you're right. <laughs> and enjoy all the yummy foods. Oh man, the turkey, ham, all the desserts, all the cookies. <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> That's definitely uh, one thing we always look forward to. All the delicious food and everybody's company. Um, just spending time with loved ones and family, you know. And uh, this year um, will probably be the last Christmas at my mom and dad's house where I grew up. So it's kind of bittersweet because next year they will be moving. The property is way too big, too much for my dad to handle now. So it's okay, you know. You understand? Okay, I understand, right? But still, at the same time, it sucks because. I grew up there, he grew up there. That's how long the property has been the family. Um, but it, it it wasn't the same, like it, it was the same house, but like back then it was like a two story house. And when my mom and dad moved in, when they were first, I think first married or they first had my sisters, um, they had to knock down the second story cause it was just all rotten and wasn't worth fixing. So it became a one story. Uh, kind of like a, I guess like a ranch style house, uh, with a creepy basement though. <laughs> yes, with a washer and dryer. Are. <laughs> yeah, that's more like a, I think like a fruit cellar. That's what they would call it, a fruit cellar. So, but they'll probably be moving. So I'm definitely going to enjoy tomorrow and just soak it up and you know take lots of pictures and just enjoy myself. Get it as sad, but you know what? It's not the house that makes the memories, it's the people that make the memories. That's what you remember. So, it, it, even though it'll be sad, but I have to, you know, look on to the future and they will make more memories. And uh, wherever the new house is, you know, we'll make memories there. That's right. Uh, so, if you're having your coffee or tea, I know I already said that. See, I'm not awake yet, I'm tired. <laughs> Ah, uh, enjoy. <laughs> and I hope you have a fabulous Christmas Eve and that you're getting everything done. I mean, I can't believe tomorrow's Christmas. Oh, excited. Yeah, I can't wait. <laughs> you know, even though I know it's going to be a long day and I'll be like tired, but it's a boxing day, I don't think anything will be good done on boxing day. <laughs> so, oh, no, screw it. Like, you know, you know it's going to be like boxing day. It's going to be like, yep, yeah, not doing anything. <laughs> Yeah. 
Uh, all right, I'm gonna enjoy every last drop of this coffee. I'm not figuring what what to eat. I'm not really hungry right now. So I will check back in. And yeah, we'll see where the day brings us. Well, I am dressed and ready for the day, as you can tell. <laughs> Got my snowman dress on. I found a good will a couple months ago. And I have my Christmas wreath, Christmas wreath leggings on. Feeling very festive. <laughs> uh, so earlier I went to get pizza for lunch from Domino's. We got yesterday in the mail a free coupon for three topping large. So we are going to put that to use today for lunch. Perfect timing <laughs> yeah um domino's is, is okay but it's like not our main pizza place we usually go to um naples or rosa's yeah but hey can't go wrong free coupon right but i don't have to cook the better and dishes are almost done i did half of them a real is going to finish them up for me and um, on Christmas Eve, the boys get to open up their Christmas Eve box. So they really, 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 really want to do that. I am trying to hold them off as long as I can. But as you know, that is very hard to do. So we're going to have pizza for lunch. And then I think after that, I still have to prepare them, get them ready. So um, after that, maybe I'll have them open up the Christmas Eve box. <laughs> I know. <laughs> They're eager and cannot wait, and I can't blame them. <laughs> I'm like that, too. All right, pizza has arrived. Lunch is served. So we have pineapple, pepperoni, and bacon. That is what Henry wanted, so that's what we got. Yummy. <laughs> I must say, that's a new combination for me. All right, guys, I have packed up prepare the Christmas Eve boxes. The boys are going to open them now. And I even wrapped up those two little stocking stuffer gifts I had to do while I was back there. I got that out of the way. So all I have to do is buy uh, the gifts I have to go to gift bags. And that's easy peasy. And I'll be done that. And yeah. The rest of the day I think we can just relax and enjoy ourselves and just enjoy this time together. So let's uh, give them the Christmas Eve boxes. Yay! You're not happy, are you? Yeah. Can you open me now? It's just a box. You just open, lift, lift up the lid. Like that. Yeah, like that. Oh. What you oh, get? Just a four. Oh, you don't get the, your main gift. This is just like your Christmas Eve box. You might get your game tomorrow. You wanted that one, remember? Yeah. Yeah. Just like four. And you got popcorn? PJs and treats? Oh my. Oh. I know where to go for movie night. What movie should we watch right now? You watch Toy Story 4? Hey, right we can watch both of them today if you want. Can you want to watch that right now, Henry? Can you watch Henry for the watch next? So, yeah? show, show him what you got. Which one know. did you get, Henry? The Missing Link about Bigfoot. I want that one. You watch that one? Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, open them. I know it's easy to open what your mouth actually. <laughs> well, I do. All right, so that is just a taste of what's coming tomorrow, okay? <laughs> yes, because you have more tomorrow. More but you don't want any more, right? That's enough. How you don't want any want more. How <laughs> I many you want more? I'm more pregnant. More pregnant. So we gotta go to bed tonight. <laughs> and and it's Santa will come. You're right. Santa comes tonight. You want help? Instead of using your teeth? Yeah, it's gross. <laughs> That's the plastic, trust me, does not taste good. Oh. Hello. Alright, so that was a, a success. Hello. Can I put it in a box with piece of paper? Thank you. So I'm going to use these boxes next year, too. I'm going to keep them. They're perfect. 
Yes. <laughs> All right, so I think it's going to be jammy and movie day today. <laughs> While we just take it easy and have a fun day. Enjoy each other company, right? Right? Yes. All right. And I got nice, cozy PJs that are already washed and they can wear tonight. So the boys got right into their nice, warm, cozy new PJs. They're watching Toy Story 4 with their popcorn and their Swedish berries. So this is my kind of Christmas Eve. You know, all the major housework is caught up. We are not going to be behind. And we can actually relax. <laughs> and yeah, uh, air out the house. Because uh, he went to my out the popcorn and then he forgot there was a hot dog bun in there. So the hot dog bun burnt. <laughs> and now uh, you can definitely smell it, but windows are open and it'll be gone soon. <laughs> I'm sure it won't be the last time we do that. And I know we're not the only ones that do that. Put something in my microwave and you realize, oh, there's something already in there. Oh, what's that smell? So they are nice and cozy. You know, and then we're going to watch The Missing Lake. It's about Bigfoot. So that'll be the next movie feature. So yeah. And, uh, you know, I might get in my PJs too. I'm very tempted. They look really cozy. They're smart. Yeah, they're in the PJs ready just to get cozy and comfy and just relax, you know. It's the best way to spend Christmas Eve. Yep, I want to get a picture of them later on with the tree lights on, with their PJs on. So I'm going to get my table back to normal and probably swift through the floors. And that's about it. And then um, I really, really want to do the rest of the dishes, you know. And I just have to do a couple last little minute things when I go to bed and done. All the, you know, big stuff is done. That's why I wanted to get caught up with housework. I don't want to be behind on dishes or laundry. You know, because when you get behind on that, you feel like you never get caught up. Because because we won't be able to do anything tomorrow. Obviously, we're going to be busy on box today. I'm not going to want to do anything. <laughs> you know, I'll probably be busy putting stuff away and organizing and that kind of thing. But I'm not doing any housework. I'm not even cooking. Like, even tonight, we're going to get Wendy's for dinner. That's our dinner. Christmas Eve dinner. I'm not cooking. Oh, and your <laughs> shrimp time. <laughs> And uh, we're just gonna snack on food. Okay, yeah. Healthy, yeah, so like I'm not cooking, and um, I'm either Boxing Day gonna do put the chicken pie in the oven I got at Costco or do a pot roast. I might do a pot roast because it just goes in the crock pot. We'll see. Chicken pot pie. You want a chicken pot pie? Sure. So yeah, so uh, we'll check back in later. But I, I am really tempted to get into my PJs. <laughs> you know, but for now, I, I gotta get this table back in order. I get my tablecloth on it so we can have a nice breakfast tomorrow morning because we're gonna have bacon eggs and maybe um, potatoes waffles or pancakes for the boys although they might say both so you kind of usually says he wants both so we'll see <laughs> but yeah it was probably going to be like a brunch for us because we would go to my mom's at 12.30, she'll have like finger foods, um, you know, like your chips and cheese and crackers, that kind of stuff. Popcorn? Pop popcorn? <laughs> popcorn? Mm -hmm. So, we're gonna be eating throughout the whole day. <laughs> Just like today. I have no room. I'm gonna try to find room for, for uh, this, this guy. Uh, maybe I have room in the window still. <laughs> Alright, so I'm, I'm going to do that. Get my table back and just um, swift to the floor. It's really quick. We need one more swift ring. Alright, and I'll check back in. Okay. So we're just starting to get our little finger foods, appetizers out. out. Yeah, out. Yep. And so we got the crackers, the cheese, Polish sausage, and of course, chocolate and honey roasted peanuts. And, sorry, I almost forgot the shrimp. I still have to grab the tortilla rolls and some chips. And then we're just going to feast and just nibble on 
food all afternoon pretty much. <laughs> Christmas Eve dinner has arrived. Uh, Henry and I and Amelia got Wendy's. Casey got Happy Meal from McDonald's. Recently he's been one Happy Meal so that's okay. Just make two stops. We're right next door to each other. And we're going to eat. I got the homestyle chicken. Mm. Real chicken. Take note, McDonald's. <laughs> All right, guys. Everyone is full stuffed over here, and I have a feeling we're gonna be full on stuff tomorrow too. When we got Wendy's, when Wendy's opened in town about two weeks ago, I knew that was going to be our Christmas Eve dinner because who wants to cook Christmas Eve if you don't have to? Not me. <laughs> I'm not cooking a lot this week. It's going to be easy peasy meals, throw them in the oven, already prepare like chicken pot pie, you know, I knew Christmas Eve, I wasn't going to cook. So everybody is full and yeah, ready for bed because the big man red comes tonight. That's right. Well, that was weird lighting. Woo. <laughs> yeah. So I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas. I hope you are enjoying your Christmas Eve and, and enjoying all the food and your family and loved ones company and cherishing those moments. Um, we are still really lo looking forward to tomorrow. I have two excited boys. I just have to do a couple more things tonight, but dishes are all done. The floors have been swiffered and everything is caught up and that was the plan just to get everything caught up because we're going to be too busy tomorrow and a come boxing day i'm not going to want to do anything you know i'll probably be putting stuff away and organizing all their new toys and all the stock and stuff for finding that place you know a home and i didn't want to do you know anything else you know no dishes so, you know that's why i bought paper plates and laundry's already put away done you know and that way i don't i i don't have to worry about it. oh good night honey it's lovely it's they're going to bed they're tired they want santa to come and we're going to bed too okay should i go to bed too <laughs> everybody's going to bed <laughs> i know it's like five o'clock well they woke up early they woke up like just after five <sighs> All right, and I am happy that everybody is well. Nobody's sick. Last year, um, right before Christmas, I I was the one who was sick. I had strep throat. And if you ever had that, it is worse. You feel like you have swallowed a bunch of swords, and it it's it, it, it sucks. It's painful until you start the antibiotics <laughs> and then they kick in and there you can finally feel relief and and um, actually eat real food and not just soup and puddings. So I was the one that was sick last year and I was right, right before Christmas and I remember going to the clinic the day before Christmas and you get my meds and then they kicked in and I was fine but it's still recuperating. Yeah. And not only did I get <laughs> get strep throat once, I got it in the new year. It's local. That's weird lighting. Happy New Year to me. But not only did I get it twice, I got strep throat three times. I got it back to back to back. And I figured out the reason. And the doctors don't tell you this. But after the third time, I feel like this isn't right. I'm going to Google it. When you get strep throat, throw out your toothbrush. Because you are just reinfecting yourself. Because once the antibiotics wear out off, and then you, you're brushing your teeth, and which has the germs on it, what are you doing? You're reinfecting yourself, and there you go, deja vu. Back to the clinic, back on antibiotics. And then after that, I haven't had it since then. So, you know, I figured out the reason. Yeah, if you ever get it, change your toothbrush, get a new toothbrush. But the doctors don't tell you that. They don't say that. I had to Google it. Yeah. So this year, needless to say, I'm happy. We are all better. We, you know, we got all the sickness out of the way. The both boys were sick in the beginning of the month. You know, they were throwing up. They had fevers, whatever they had. And it was going around um, the school because Casey, Casey's class, the f last week of school, they had like one day she had 
eight students not there and then 10 students the next day were absent. So something was obviously going around and I'm just glad, you know, whatever it was, the boys caught it and they got out of the way in time for Christmas and they're both well. And everybody is healthy, right? Because that's what's the point because we want to enjoy Christmas. It goes by so fast and it already is. I mean, tomorrow's Christmas Day. I can't believe that. I don't know where December went. I'm sorry about the light. <laughs> it's just really weird. I'm about to stay right here. But it just, it flies by. So we are definitely going to enjoy tomorrow and soak up every moment and cherish those precious moments and I always look forward to seeing the looks on their faces when they open up their gifts. So that I cannot wait for. And tonight when they go to bed and I'm done everything, oh my gosh, <laughs> I am going, I don't know why I'm doing that. I am going to finish It's a Wonderful Life. It's a long movie so I knew I wouldn't watch it. Like I was originally going to watch it Christmas Eve. But it's a long movie, and I knew I wouldn't be able to stay awake to watch the whole thing. So I split it into two nights. I watched half of it last night, and then I'm going to finish the rest of it tonight. So I want to watch that. All right, Henry's putting out cookies for Santa Claus, and we're going to get milk. You get a... Which one? Pick a cup. <laughs> so um, I definitely want to finish that movie tonight. You're going to give Santa Mike. Mike. <laughs> That's for Santa? Okay. He picked up my National Lampoon glass. Okay, let's put some milk in. Yeah. What cookies did you pick? You know, the, the smarty ones are in the cookie tin. All right, so before we say goodbye, all right, you can pour that in there. There's just a little bit left. Um, we will take you guys along with us and we'll give Santa his milk cookies. Oops. Because that's a long journey. You need to give the poor guy a snack. His cookies. Okay, I think he probably got a couple of sugar cookies too. Man. Oh. <laughs> Where are you going to put it? Okay, it's alright, start. Hang on. Let's get some light. Hello. Okay, oh. what about this one? His cookie. Put that there. Okay. But let's move your um, dinner. <laughs> I don't think he wants cold McDonald's french fries. <laughs> so anyways, I'm going to enjoy It's a Wonderful Life because like I said before, J Jimmy Stewart, he um, he fought in the World War II and he was a bomber pilot. And those scenes with him like being really upset and really like, you know, on the edge, you know, uh, that was his P PT, wait, yeah, PTSD disorder, post-traumatic stress disorder. Because when he came back from the war, he wasn't the same person. Obviously, he saw horrible things. And he came home. People didn't recognize him because he was so skinny. He looked sick. He was depressed. He wasn't sleeping. And when he did sleep, he would have nightmares of planes exploding and men falling, screaming in the sky. So when he did those scenes where, you know, he's really traumatized, like that's 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 you know, that's like pure reaction. That's his PTSD showing through, you know, and and then after reading that it's like, oh wow, I really want to watch It's a Wonderful Life and then I found a Valley Village, I grabbed it. And, you know, it makes you look through it I mean it makes you look at it through a different set of eyes. It definitely does. So that is the plan tonight. I can't I can't wait to finish it. So I will show you the plate of uh, cookies and um, milk. All right, guys, here is two cookies for Santa and milk. One lucky guy. I hope he enjoys them. Yummy, yummy. All right, guys, that's it for today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed watching. And I hope you're having a very Merry Christmas Eve. And I hope Santa is good to you and does not give you coal and just gives you goodies. <laughs> so have a Merry Christmas. We will see you tomorrow morning, probably bright and early, because they're going to want to open their gifts, go through their stockings. But we told them 
Um, they have to wait till 7 a.m. No earlier. We are not getting up at like 5 or 6. 7 a.m. 7 a.m. So, <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Fingers crossed. If I can hold them off that long. <laughs> so, um, we'll see you tomorrow morning. Um, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe. Share all that good stuff. And we will see you tomorrow morning. Bye. Take care.